To write the perfect SBA, step number three is all about the presentation. Welcome back to our series on how to write the perfect SBA. So far we've looked at the introduction, the method of data collection, and now we're going to talk a little bit about how to write your presentation. Now the presentation is arguably the most important part of your SBA because it carries the most marks. It carries five marks in total. Let's kind of break down what you get those five marks for. You get two marks if your data is accurate and well organized, yeah? But you'll only get a mark if your data is presented, but it's not well organized. So you have to make sure that it looks good, it's clear, and it's not kind of confusing to figure out what you're presenting because that's the whole point of it. Making sure your data is accurate is a super important thing that I think sometimes students overlook, but we know when it's not accurate. For example, I remember last year I was marking an SBA and it was talking about the height of um, players and how it affects the goals that they score. So they did, they said that they did a survey of students from grade 7 to 11. Now some of the grade 7 students, their heights were like 7 feet 7 inches, 7 feet 3 inches. That doesn't make no sense. Obviously that data is cooked. So you have to make sure that your data is accurate. Don't make it up. Next, you have to make sure that your tables and graphs are included, correctly labeled, and used appropriately. Remember that you can't just make graphs for any type of data. For example, if you're comparing proportion, then a pie chart would be best. Um, if you're thinking about something happening over time, then a line graph would be best. So you have to take these type of things into consideration. Finally, you get one mark for the accurate use of mathematical concepts. And that basically speaks for itself. Now the presentation is going to vary depending on your SBA. So if you do like a statistical SBA, then in your presentation it's going to have graphs and tables and stuff like that. One note to make for these type of SBAs is to make sure that your graphs and your tables link back to the questions on your questionnaire. That's super, super important. If you're doing another type of SBA, something like an observation, then likely your presentation is going to have like the tables and, you know, the growth over time. It might include some coordinate geometry because you'll be plotting graphs, straight line graphs and, you know, stuff like that. Or, or even quadratic graphs, depending on the, the, the topic of your SBA. And if you have something like a practical SBA, like we mentioned earlier, painting somewhere or the height of a building or something like that, then in your presentation, you'd include diagrams, possibly even pictures, and probably even calculations that are gonna aid you in your analysis. In including those calculations, you have to be really careful though, because there's a thin line between the calculations you use for your presentation of data and the calculations for your analysis. So you can consult your teacher to help guide you carefully in, in that one. Now let's mark some presentations together. Now in this SBA, the students were looking for the preferred drink for teachers and students at a particular high school. So starting out, they talk about what they're going to do. They're going to show the data collected for the amount of drinks sold at, sold at both of the school's talk shops, Carrera Shop A and Shop B. And here they write down, you know, how much drinks were sold each day, the different brands of drinks. It's a couple brands, but, you know, it looks looks okay to me. It's Pepsi, Pepsi, Bigger, Licious. Ooh, nobody likes Licious. How so much people buy Licious? Anyways, Mountain Dew, Minute Maid etc now below here they show a bar chart representing the preferred drink for students and teachers which which is kind of shown here and i'm that would come from it seems the questions in their questionnaire that asks persons what drink they prefer so i like this one because they're doing the research at the talk shop and then they're asking persons 
and most likely they're going to do some comparison in their analysis and discussion now here i don't like this graph let me tell you why the line graph shows the price of each drink a line graph is best used for things that happen over time so this doesn't this doesn't really make any sense because it's not appropriately used right here so i would have given them two for their organized and genuine data that i saw before but for the tables and graphs part, I can't give them the two marks. I'd have to give them one mark because this graph is not being used properly. And it's kind of not adding up because it's just a repeat of the graph that was here before. So they didn't really need to put it there. And then down here, the pie chart shows the sales percentage of each drink. I just want them to tell me where they got that information. Though. Is it from the talk shop? or is it from the respondents? So they use the accurate math concept. I'd give them one mark for that. So overall, I'd give this presentation four marks. They need to get rid of this uh, graph right here for the juice prices. Let's look at another one. Now here's another SBA. And the title is how much will it cost to paint the outside of a two bedroom house in such community in this one I I think I like this SBA I like they're at a good start I mean they didn't go any further this is a stop but they're after a good start they have the picture of the house seems genuine enough to me uh, you know what instead of talking about what they could do let me hear from you what else do you think this presentation needs to get that 5 out of 5? Let me know in the comments below. But they're off to a good start. So, what other questions do you have about the presentation of data in an SBA? Let's know in the comments and let's see how we can help you. Subscribe and hit the notification bell because more videos like this plus other general math help and tips are on the way. So, thanks a lot for listening. Big up.